Divine truths frequently ask questions. Jesus, Mary and others provide answers to questions that are frequently asked by members of the media and the public. So, What is God's purpose for creating the process he has? So why did he create it so that we become physical parents? parents? Yeah, this so is a very good question. Like, Why did God involve us in his parenting of his own children is really the question, isn't it? And really what God is trying to do is teach us a lot of things about love through this process. Okay, Things that we might not have learned if we weren't involved in the process of parenting ourselves. Yep. Now, if I can maybe give a few illustrations of some of those things. When you become a parent and uh, if, you're, if your children ever run away or they ever like, completely disown you, one of the things you realise as a parent in that process is that you still love them and would still love to have them back. And you, if you're a loving parent, you won't be angry with them, but you will still want them to come back. Now, this is something that God wants with us. God, God doesn't punish us for running away from God. God's not one of these vindictive, violent parents who wants to, you know, put, put, the, put the child in a box for the rest of its existence uh, or force the child to have a relationship with the parent. Yep. God's not like that. So, so, but, but also, God still has feelings of love for that child. So even if the child is completely rebellious, God still has feelings of love for the child, immaterial as to whether it's rebellious or, or not. Yep. Now, when you go through that process as a parent, you'll come to see that God feels the same about you every time you've rebelled. God hasn't wanted to punish you. God hasn't wanted to make your life a living hell, you know, as some parents um, unfortunately nowadays want to do to their children when they disobey them. God instead allows the person to make the choice and hopes that they come back at some point in the future and hopes that they return to them and hopes and still continues to love them. This is an, exp this is an expression of how God loves. So once you've been through that example, if you like, of love, then as a parent, as a person, you'll be able to say, ah, this is how God loves me, right? So God, through this process of helping you be a parent by creating the potential that you can create the physical and spiritual bodies of the child and having and draw this half of the soul to you and, and be involved in an interaction with it, God's exposing to you all of these truths about love. And also, interestingly enough, the personality of the child will be perfect personality to expose certain things within you that are out of harmony with love. And once you start seeing all of that, you start realising how much love and care God has for you, trying to show you through this involving creative process how God feels about you and how God therefore feels about the child you've brought or the physical and spiritual bodies of the child yeah. that the child is incarnated into and, and, and that you've brought into your life through this process. So, so God's showing us so many things through this process of involving us in the process of creation. Right? Now, most parents resist almost everything that God's showing them through that process. So whenever the child cries, the parents are beating their head against a brick wall saying, oh, there's something wrong with the child. No, it's not. The child's crying because there's something wrong with the parents, <laughs> right? The ch a child, through, if you look at a, a baby animal, for example, um, when it's fully nurtured by its mother or, or parent, um, it, it has no grief whatsoever, right? We were just nursing a little baby kangaroo yesterday. Not an ounce of worry, fear, concern, anything yep. in this baby kangaroo, right? Uh, obviously, because it didn't receive any of those emotions from its parent, right? Um, but what, how does a human mm. child arrive into the world? Well, oftentimes kicking and screaming and, and, and crying and crying lots and lots yep. of uh, after that as well. Why is that? Because there's something going on with the parent or parents. Um, and this is something that we need to see. That our emotional condition, our belief system, our, the things that are in us that are out of harmony with love, have a large effect on the outcome of what happens to our child. Yeah. Now, God's trying to show us that. Show us the power, positively and negatively, of our own emotional condition. Now, by involving us in this creative process, it's one of the most rapid ways to see. 
that particular mm. truth. Yeah. yeah. So it's very, very powerful to be involved in the process as a parent, to be involved in this process of having child and then having reflected to you and being humble enough to see everything re reflected to you that the child is going through as something that's out of harmony with love inside of yourself yeah. or, or collectively inside of both parents.